Hello friends, this is Sunil and welcome back to my channel IT Junction for All. In this video, I am going to discuss about SQL scenario based interview question and answer part 63. First, the problem statement. Staff table has two columns, namely ID and name. ID has values ranging from 1 to 8 and name has value values uh, staff 1, staff 2 till staff 8. Now, we have to write a SQL query to get the expected output as shown here. Now, if you see the expected output, you will notice two things. First thing is that ID column and name columns are getting concatenated with space in between. And the second thing is that two records are getting merged with comma as a separator, comma and a space as a separator. Now you you can see a staff one and a staff two are getting con I mean uh, getting merged with comma and a space in between. Similarly, staff three and four are getting merged with a space and a comma and a space. So is the case with the staff five and six, seven and eight. So the problems it might look difficult for you, but this is very simple problem with the help of some. Uh, uh, some functions will be able to achieve this uh, this expected output uh, very easily. So watch this video till end so that you can understand properly. Let's switch to SQL Server and start coding. Before proceeding to the solution, let's see our input table once again. So let's fire select a star from a star table. So this is our input table wherein we had two columns id and name. Now we are sure that we have to achieve two things. First thing is that we have to concat first two columns with the space in between. Right. So we can do that easily by let me copy this and paste here. Instead of star I am going to use concat function. In this I am going to concat id column. And in between, I'm going to give a space and then I'm going to give name column. And then I'm going to close this and we'll give alias as let's say name only. So let me run this piece of code and let's see what result I'm getting. So now you can see uh, ID and the name are getting concatenated with a space in between. Now we'll come jump to the second uh, a statement where this is the we which we have to achieve so second what we have to do we have to merge two two records uh, uh two two records and with the comma in the space as a separator so we have to think of any sql function or by any other way by which we can get this done so you must be aware of the entire function so what is this entire function? It is a window function that distributes the rows into a specified number of groups. Suppose when I give entire equal to 4 entire and if we give bucket as 4, it will distribute the whole result set into 4 groups and it will give equal number of rows into it. So suppose eight records are the records are there there will be two uh, two records in each group so this is what we have to achieve right so this is a window function so we will have to use over over by clause over and then we have to order by id and let's say as group and let me run this piece of code Now you see that we are able to create four group and first and uh, staff one and staff two comes in the first group, uh, staff three and four comes in the second group, staff five and six comes in the third group and staff seven and eight comes in the last group, fourth group. Now our job is very easy. Now what we'll do, we'll place this query inside a CTE. So we'll place with CTE underscore let's say as a staff as we'll open the bracket 
and I'm going to cl close it over here and then I'm going to use select now what we have to do we have to use another function which which should aggregate these two rows with a space and with comma and a space in between so I'm going to use another function called a string act in this first I'll give the column name what is the column name name and second uh, will be the separator so what separate separator we want we want comma and a space and we'll close the bracket and we'll give alias as results from this CTE table. Now, if I run this, let's see what result we are getting. We in this, what will happen? All the all the records, uh, in, uh, all the name will be getting merged into a single uh, single row. See, staff one, staff two, staff three, all are getting in merged into one row and one column but our our desired result is uh, is different we want a staff one and a staff two in the first group a staff three and four in the second likewise so for that what we have to do we will have to group by group by this group column so there were total four groups so in this each group uh, each two two staff will be uh, will be getting merged so let's see so here you go you got the expected output so we were able to solve this problem with the help of uh, a concat function and tile window function and a string aggregate function if you know uh, any other way by which you can solve this problem please do write in the comment section and thanks for watching thank you